Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I'm not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So with that said, we are looking at Titan X. So first thing I want to let you know is that they've got a pre-sale coming up on the 5th and uh, they will launch 48 hours after the pre-sale has concluded. Um, so they do have uh, several utilities ready to go at launch. Um, they've already had at least one AMA and they have a white power that's basically a PowerPoint. I'll leave uh, the link in the description you know, for where you can locate that in their telegram. Um, and then what I've basically done is I've turned it into a PDF just for presentation um, you know, for us for the video. But with that said, uh, that's those are my notes, you know, that I wanted to share with you before I get into the walk around. It says here that uh, Titan X is a full DeFi multi-tool platform, uh, real-time BSC data analysis, decentralized launchpad protocol. So, and then obviously the charts wouldn't be alive at this point just because it hasn't launched yet, you know. So, and they've got... Their intents here, that just takes you over to this, I believe, uh, you know, which is their Titan X verse and the jackpots, basically. So you can participate with the token, win 70% of the jackpot, play now. These two buttons are not live yet. Um, and so you have to connect your wallet in order to be able to go ahead and you know, engage with this, I believe, uh, you know, and as always, you know, anytime, you know, we're talking about sites where you got to go ahead and connect your wallet. Um, my own personal recommendation, you know, if it's me doing it, you know, is that, or I shouldn't say recommendation, my own personal practice is that I tend to create, you know, just a separate wallet in which it's got that token in it. So that way I'm not exposing any of my other assets, you know, to a uh, site that I'm not familiar with in terms of, uh, you know, exposing, you know, any other cryptos that I may have. So I just tend to find that to be a safer route to go. Uh, that way, if, you know, anything does happen, you know, then... The only tokens that I'm really losing are the ones that are just for that particular project. So, and not anything else. All right. So with that said, it gives us some game rules in terms of how it works. You know, Intense has a 10 minute countdown timer. Participate and the countdown starts. You can win two ways. Instantly win 70%. Or if nobody participates within the countdown, you win 50% of the jackpot. Minimum bid is going to be 1% of the jackpot balance, giving you a 1% chance to win instantly. The max is going to be a 10% of the jackpot, jackpot balance, giving you a 10% chance you know, to win instantly. Uh, instant winner right here, if a user instant wins, uh, intense jackpot balance is distributed as follows. 70% credited instantly to the winner's address, 10% is burned, 20% carries over to the next round. I think that's interesting. Lose, if a user loses the instant draw, 90% goes to intense balance, 10% is burned. Uh, lose, but nobody plays. If nobody bids over a 10-minute period, 50% goes to the last bidder, 40% carries over to the next round, and 10% gets burned. So I like the hyper-deflationary nature, you know, you know, through the burning of the tokens, um, and obviously you need Titan tokens to go ahead and be able to play, you know, so uh, that is just, to me, another way of benefiting the holders because, you know, less tokens in circulation just means, you know, a greater value, um, you know, for the tokens that are held, you know, by anyone holding the tokens. So, and then they give you, you know, last winners, you know, here in this section. To, and you can also click here and, and, and sort it by week, month, and total. And we see a couple of buttons, you know, for their socials. So going back over to the main page, we can see liquidity raise, total value locked, liquidity raise, and liquidity raise. We see projects coming soon, but nothing there yet because they have not launched. And uh, just our basic, you know, footer information, you know, with socials as well. So going into the, uh, the PDF, the PowerPoint presentation, uh, we'll take a look at this, you know, just because there's not a whole lot to go off of, you know, you know, on the main uh, page. So I just want to go ahead and, um, you know, take you through some of the information, you know, that's in the white paper. So we'll do things a little bit different uh, this time. Titan X is bridging the gap between developers and the investors, you know, with the state-of-the-art utility. So, and again, keep in mind, you know, with this particular project, 
there's going to be several utilities already available at launch, which that in itself is already kind of unique because we see a lot of, you know, projects where the utilities, you know, they, you don't see them until like, you know, phase two, phase three of the roadmap, you know, or Q2 or Q3, which I always think is a bit late. You know, usually if somebody's going to engage with a token, in my own personal opinion, they typically want to see the uh, utilities, you know, at least something ready to go, you know, if they're going to go and get into a project. So um let's see here introduction so they provide you an introduction you know from the founder and cto uh you know of the project and then uh, a little bit more information here and this is just going off of you know coming really from the ceo um i believe you know in terms of what their vision and mission is and i tend to like you know a project that do have a mission and a vision what they offer they offer a full DeFi utility to support developers from creation launch through to implementation our goal creating user-friendly easy to access applications while ensuring we can connect developers with a reliable investor base launch services decentralized open protocol launchpad this is going to be where it all begins for both ourselves and most developers uh, our launchpad is intuitive customizable customizable which we like and offers best in class pricing and ease of use so they're basically stating stating that you know dame utilizing their launch pads is going to be affordable um and we know that uh, that isn't always the case with launch pads you know so if they're putting that out there you know right at the gate you know to go i think that's a good thing um good signal for me so charting beta and DeFi exchange charting done right so they're going to have charting associated you know with this particular uh, launch pad quick responsive charting that strips away you know the access to ensure investors can see what they need without becoming overwhelmed by what they don't so and i think that you know a lot of people when they look at charting you know tools that's probably you know fair to say that it's easy to go ahead and get overwhelmed you know when you're seeing a, a charting tool that just has a lot going on like it's just busy and we've all seen busy you know charting tools so i think if they're trying to go ahead and keep it more streamlined i think that's a good thing token creation coming q2 2022 drag and drop features to make creating a token as easy as the rest of our utility once you're done creating we offer the service and support to see your project through to launch and beyond so i think that is very very cool because i think that there are probably more people that would do token creation but right now, it doesn't really seem like it's that easy a process. So if they're making uh, token creation very easy, drag and drop simple, um, I think that's going to be something that people will probably pay attention to and want to engage with. Just my own personal opinion there. AMA services speak about your project and take the first steps to grow a potential user base. Advertising, banners, top token counter, top presale, and other trending items connect with our ever expanding user base. Auxiliary services, token lockers, scanner to check for honeypots and other pitfalls. So they are basically like a hub where you get, you don't have to go ahead and go to this place to go ahead and, and, and look at the security you know the token or this place to go ahead and try to figure out how you're gonna you know get your 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 project trending um they intend to at least based on you know everything i've seen so far they intend to be the all-in-one they intend to be the hub so and i think that you know hey in my own personal opinion when it comes to something like this because hubs can be really ambitious kind of things to tackle if they can do it right i mean i think that it definitely has the ability you know the the, the potential i should say uh, to be a place of interest you know for projects so but the question you know really comes down to can you get it done and what is it really going to look like and how and when you say that it's you know going to be easy to use by all accounts you know is it really easy to use you know um and is the return on the investment you know because the people are spending money to go ahead and and utilize your services and all the utility you know are they really getting a good return on the investment that they're that they're making you know with your platform and that we don't know yet right so launchpad where it all begins launchpad is where it all begins we offer a better product at a better price low cost fees with no team token requirements and our launchpad offers total customization so it's not simply you're just fixed into whatever they say is associated with the platform they give you the ability to kind of tailor it to how you want it to be you know for you now exactly what those details are i don't have them you know but i do like the fact that they are offering at least from a headline standpoint uh, total customization 
Uh, and because it's part of our ecosystem, it seamlessly integrates with all other applications and utility. Now, of course, you know, customization can only go so far. You know, there's obviously going to have to be some things that you have to conform to, you know, on a utility that you don't own. And, you know, but I think that the more a utility and a launchpad and a product can go ahead and at least give you some, some flexibility that you may not go ahead and get with other platforms, I think there certainly is, you know, some appeal to that. Now, they say that this is utility that works. There's no secret that cryptocurrency is a growing trend. It may shock you to know just how much growth there really is. CMC reports an average of 25 new Binance chain listings every day. This uh, this represents a, only a very small fraction of the tokens launching you know, daily, which I would have to agree that ultimately when you look at so if you look at a lot of the, you know, uh, BSC you know, tokens that launch every day, there are tokens that launch literally you know, every so many seconds. I mean, it's it's bananas. I mean, how many listings are you know, are, you know, our tokens are being born like you know all the time. Um, and so yeah, to you know, even though Binance, you know, CMC is reporting that there are 25 new you know BSC you know listings daily, um, I honestly think it could be you know more than that. You know, but um, but yeah, by positioning our utility around launch and support services for new projects, we can ensure we benefit from this unprecedented growth. Uh, how your tokens born, uh, plan your pre-sale. Pre-sale is, or the, the launch pad is set up to easily walk a developer through, set up your pre-sale and customize the full layout, no hidden fees or team tokens, just one established low, uh, low price. Host your pre-sale. Well, actually, I think we're coming down here. Using the... Uh, you know, easy token creator, developers can select features that work for them and drag and drop to create standardized constructs easily. No need for coding. That is a wonderful thing, and I think that's going to really appeal to a lot of people because a lot of people don't know how to code. I mean, I'm one of them. I don't know how to code. You know, so um, that can certainly be, you know, a high barrier to entry, you know, for token creation. You know, so if you make it where you don't have to actually know code, um, you know, I think that's probably going to be something that would appeal, you know, to a larger audience. Connecting with your investors, you know, the Launchpad is built to draw on investors to your project, trending, pre-sales, advertising, all built into the larger ecosystem, you know, hosting your pre-sale, easy participation, all the information that investors need, and the ability to purchase, you know, all the click of a button, and then continue the journey, so continue to advertising. So what do you do beyond, you know, some of these other utilities, and they give you the ability to continue to to grow that that token, that pre-sale through their advertising, charting and exchange, voting is so much more to service your investors. Uh, no strings attached, you know, so pink sale, they want one BNB plus 2% of total raised and 2% team tokens. Team tokens required. They're more expensive. And keep in mind before I keep going, this is just a comparison, you know, so this isn't saying that pink sale is worse then Titan or DX sale is better than, you know, either of the two. Again, I always want to preface that these are just comparison tables. They're giving you information. You may or may not know, you know, be aware of it. Um, but again, making the comparison, you're able to see, you know, hey, well, what would I choose if it was me, you know, uh, that needed a utility like this? So again, we see here more expensive, less intuitive, and no ability to customize your listing, not to mention the hidden cost of team tokens, which can kill upward momentum if they're sold at the wrong time. We've seen this happen, you know, before, um, you know, when a launch pad requires team tokens. Uh, it's their, their tokens, you know, at that point. And if the project is mooning and they decide, okay, now we want to go ahead and sell those tokens, if you're getting 2% of those team tokens that are just yours to go and do it as, you know, however you please, keep in mind these launch pads don't have any vested interest in the project. I mean, so for them, they're just free tokens that if it's you or me, and which is why I say, say what you will, you know, about a launch pad, but I honestly, would we act any different? You know, if you gave me a bunch of free tokens and I knew that I could go ahead and just sell them whenever the project, you know, had reached, you know, uh, maybe close to their all-time high, then what are you going to do? You're going to get rid of the tokens. You know, you're going to take the profit, right? So, um, so you know what? I mean, people have, you know, have their opinions in regards to launch pads, you know, like Pink Sale and DXL that, that go ahead and require or that do get those team tokens. But, you know, like I said, I don't know that, you know, if it's you or me that we would honestly, 
you know, treated any differently. You know, if, we, if somebody gave us free tokens and or gave us tokens that we could go ahead and, and profit off of at any point in time. So DXL, we're talking about one BNB plus two percent of the total raise and two percent team tokens. Team tokens aren't required. More expensive, less intuitive. No ability. Okay, same thing here. Uh, and then for Titan X, you know, it's just two percent of the total raise. They're not going to ask for any team tokens. What that means is that when the project launches, you don't have, let's say that, um, you know, I have gotten into a project and um, they chose to launch off of a launch pad and that launch pad did not require any team tokens. I, as a person that's participating in this project, no longer have to be concerned about a launch pad dumping 2% of the tokens, you know, which would also affect my investment, um, you know, at, as the project, can, you know, started its upward momentum. Okay, so, and there are no strings attached. You know, all your costs up front when using the launch pad and we and they say we will never ask for team tokens ever. So, um, so yeah, and, and for the sake of not making this video super long, just want you to understand that that's kind of the gist of what's going on here with this launch pad. There is more to it than that. But like I said, I don't want to go ahead and make this video too long and this could easily turn into a 20 minute video and I don't want to do that. So, um, but yeah, they've got a lot of good information here in the white paper. So I certainly encourage you to take a look at it if you're somebody interested in this project. You want to go ahead and take a look, you know, at the launch pad, um, you know, what the UI, you know, looks like, you know, so we see the homepage and DeFi exchange, private sales. So they give you some of these links that I'm sure at some point in time they will remove because they won't be applicable any longer. So um, you can search for tokens, you know, here, and this just, I think, is just more of a mock-up. You know, it gives you, um, you know, just an idea of what, what, what it would look like, you know, on the back end. Um, here we can see, you know, I, I chose to go through the audit and KYC section, and they list their partners. Um, and then here I took a look at the private sale link, and they say that, you know, this is already sold out. Don't worry if you missed it. You know, the pre-sale begins on the 28th. We're, all, we're beyond the we're beyond the pre-sale, you know, at this point. So, um, or actually, no, we're not beyond the pre-sale at this point because, like I said, you got the pre-sale. So this information is not correct. So that caught, that caught me up for a minute. But um, the pre-sale is going to be on May 5th. So at the time of recording this video, it's the third. Uh, so again, if you're somebody interested in participating in the project, and, and we don't encourage you to invest in this channel, but you know, still giving you the pre-sale information anyway. Uh, the pre-sale will take place on the 5th, and the launch will be 48 hours after that. I think I'd already given you that information, you know, at the start of the video, but either way. Um, and then here, uh, this was just the, the jackpots. So uh, that really just takes us through, the, you know, um, you know, our bite-sized, you know, overview of the project. Um, you know, if this is a project you are not aware of, you know, that's that's what I try to do on this channel. I try to go ahead and do the research and bring projects, you know, to the channel that you may not you know, have known that, you know, um, in my opinion, uh, you know, for whatever reason, sometimes I go ahead and I talk about projects where they've got a lot of good signals. And sometimes I go ahead and I talk about projects, you know, where there are concerning signals. For me, I see more on the positive uh, with this particular project, you know, uh, given the fact that, you know, good signals for me personally are the fact that they have utilities that are coming, you know, straight out of the gate. They intend to be a hub, you know, a different type of launch pad. And uh, if, if it's me participating in a project, you know, this might be a launch pad that I, I'd be interested in looking at, you know, for me personally. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a day, you know, on this video uh, before it gets too long. And uh, as always, I appreciate you guys engaging, you know, with uh, the content that is shared on this channel. Um, you know, if you have any comments, you know, for me in regards to the video, definitely go ahead and leave them below. I'll leave you the relevant links, you know, for this particular project. And, you know, as always, you guys get out there, join their Telegram, join their social channels, learn more about the projects, read the rest of the white paper. And don't just take, you know, what I'm saying about a project as your green light to go. You make sure that you look into the project and you find out what your own signals are so that you are more informed uh, before you participate in any project in crypto. With that said, that'll do it for me. You guys enjoy the day.